Hello and welcome to the March edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we're going to be doing a really simple but very cool experiment about ocean acidification. Yes. Okay. We want to thank our friends at the Birch Aquarium at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography for helping us out with this experiment. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm going to explain what we need, the materials for this experiment, but as always, you can find everything, a whole list of our materials on our website, www.rhfleet.org. Along with so many other experiments you can try out and enjoy. Absolutely, all of these videos are right there. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to be needing is two clear cups or jars, one filled with tap water. We need a spoon, two pieces of chalkboard chalk, not the colored sidewalk chalk, we want the white chalk, okay? One of these other cups filled with white vinegar. We also have pH test strips that you can get at a local uh, aquarium supply store or a pool supply pool store or spa, store. anything like that. Lowe's. Exactly. And we also have some paper towels. All right. Great. Thank you. Let's get started. All right. So we've arranged two cups here, one with uh, just tap water. You want to fill it about a quarter full and the other one with vinegar. All right. Same thing, about a quarter full. And what we want to do is check the pH dip balance of both these liquids. So I have my test strips here. And what do you think? might happen when I put these in. Well, um, I'm going to estimate that they will both explode. Cool, okay. Let's get Let's started. Hope. No? No, probably not. Any uh, more educated? <laughs> <laughs> more educated? Well, let's just see what happens. Okay. All right, so you're just going to put them right in. And when I take them out, it looks like it looks like the uh, H2O is still yellow and the vinegar is still red. So do, what does that mean on our pH scale? Well, I believe what that means, according to the bottle right here, is that the uh, pH is actually lower on the vinegar. So the it's pH, acidic? This is more acidic, right. So regular water is what we call neutral on the scale. pH scale runs from 0 to 14. Mm -hmm. Water is neutral. It's about 7. Um, so the lower, we can kind of look on the, on the color strip here, I'm not quite sure if you can see, but you can see vinegar is way down here, probably at about one or maybe even two. You see that? Yeah, it was definitely matched So that tells up. us it's very, very acidic, okay? So the, for the purposes of our experiment today, uh, ocean water typically runs about an eight. It's a little bit more basic than regular water. Okay. But what's happening is that the oceans are actually getting more acidic. They're moving down this scale because of all the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that's falling into the water. Okay. So and I think we've touched on that on a previous many times, as well. Many times, but this is so. a cool way to demonstrate it. Cool. So. We're going to test what happens to uh, chalk and then seashells in these different liquids. Right. So I have my two pieces of chalk about the uh, same, same size. So they're about, let's measure them to your finger here. Okay. That, like that? Yeah. All right. All right. So they're about... Fingernail to a knuckle right yep. there. It's really okay. uh, scientific and it's there. Chalk, it's definitely coming off a little bit. It's definitely hard, right? We're right. trying to to just observe the properties of the chalk mm -hmm. and okay. somewhat informally. Absolutely. All right. So, I mean, some of it comes off, but it's not bad. It's definitely hard. There's just a few ever so slightly porous, right? Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen when we put them into the, uh, the different substances I here? think it might explode. Oh, that's hey. Hey, not an educated guess. All right. Wow. I think they might change color. These changed color. You know, maybe these will change color too. Maybe that's what it does. Cool. All so right. we'll go with that. Okay. See what happens. Well. All right. So those are our, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really cool. So as you guys can see here, the vinegar, it's just wow. destroying the Wow, vinegar is chalk. absolutely just destroying the chalk right now. Eating it up. Um, there's like bubbles. A, yeah, like an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Yes, like it that. looks like yeah. an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's very cool. Now let's look at the water. The water is doing nothing. <laughs> not much. Chalk. It's like a little bubble, but not much at all. I mean, the, the acid just really ate that. Wow. Oil. Interesting. Okay, so similarly to chalk, we're going to use uh, some shells. Some shells. Okay, so what's the similarity between the chalk and the and the shells here? Let me switch these out. Are we switching these out? To... We can switch them out, yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll let that just continue to erode over here. And we've got our right. water, so, water and our vinegar. Talking about the properties then of these shells, uh, they're definitely small. small smaller. Small. About, let me see your fingernail. Fingernail yeah. and length. They're definitely hard. Um, they're not really uh, coming off or anything like that. And they're a little bit yellow. Right? All right. All right. Same thing. We'll put them in. 
and just make observations. You're going to be wa wanting to watch your chalk, watch your sh shells mm -hmm. to see what um, is going on here. Yeah. So not a whole lot happening with the shell right now as much as the vinegar, but you know, the process that's happening in the ocean, it's not really happening over the course of a few seconds, right? right? right. I mean, this is taking a while. So I think what we did earlier is we actually had a shell that we placed uh, over the weekend we did. in vinegar. And let's kind of take a look at that. Great. So these are our shells that are in vinegar. And when you're kind of done observing, you want to really check out your chalk or your shell, you're going to use a spoon to take it out. And there's actually still bubbles on these. Right. And there's actually bits of shell that so I'm kind of wading through. Down. It's starting to break down. Mm -hmm. OK. And definitely breaking off really easy. I just keep breaking off little pieces. Um, as I'm rubbing, there's residue from the shell coming off. Same thing, really easy. Really easy to break off here. That's and very, very brittle. Very brittle, thank you. And our other shell that was more similar to the shell that we put in our original experiment, same thing, like as I'm handling it, there's little pieces coming off. So it definitely is seeming to uh, destroy the shell. Yeah. Right? And our chalk is what? I'm going to bring the chalk back well, the on chalk over. From the vinegar, I mean, we can kind of look at our, our original test here. And again, let's move that out of the way. You so know, our water vinegar. one, there's a few bubbles. And our vinegar one is. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Okay. Right. This is a really cool experiment. Right. So we're not trying, we're not interested in, in chalk in the I ocean can't necessarily, even of find course, it right? Anymore. But seashells, yeah, it's, it's totally destroyed. It's totally gone. So here's just the. The little piece that remains. Oh. Right. There's a little tiny piece about this small that remains yeah. of the chalk. Yeah. And so seashells are actually made of calcium carbonate. Right. Okay, and that's kind of similar to what's going on with the chalk. It's not exactly the same, but you know. Right. Um, so basically, what's happening is in our experiment, the calcium carbonate that was this or that, you know, it reacts with the vinegar. It reacts with the, the acid. The shell. All the shells made out of. Exactly. And that's actually producing a gas. This is carbon dioxide gas. That's why we have all the bubbling and everything like that. Okay. Okay. And Basically, that's what's happening in the oceans as they begin to increase in their acidity. The animals that live inside of shells, you know, would you want to live in a shell that's breaking down and brittle and stuff like not. that? Absolutely not. It does not seem like a very safe home. No, exactly. I mean, this is a really... It was so very, as the ocean's getting more acidic, right. the shells of different creatures are getting more brittle. Exactly. Causing them to not be able to survive. It. Right. So this process is affecting all kinds of animals in the ocean, from plankton to mollusks and things that live in shells just like these, you know, breaking okay. down. So the acidification, the fact that there's more carbon dioxide in the water is going to end up affecting the food chain like we've mm -hmm. talked about in other episodes. Yeah, you refer back to our plankton activity right. as well. So. Exactly. And what we've actually noticed, it's been studied that in the last 20 years, the acidity of the, of the ocean's uh, surface water has actually increased by 30% which is wow. a pretty big change. And that's really going to start affecting the life of the animals in the, and the plants in the, in the ocean. So, so we really need to reduce our carbon dioxide production, right? Exactly. That's, that's why this is so important, because here. this is what's happening. So Great. Thank you for that explanation, Brandon. And thank you, viewers at home, for watching. Uh, tune in next month for this month's experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.